Hey everybody, it's your old cousin Jack. Well, I'm going to tell you a story about the gift that I gave to my mom and she just hated it, threw it away. True story. And then today we'll learn about carving a shrink pot. We'll visit Spoonfest 2023. We'll talk about tools. And we'll spin around the internet uh, to see what's going on out there with some new carving related videos. And We'll have links for all of the resources and things that I mentioned today right down below this video in the comment section and then also in the description. Let's get started. Well, up first, I'll tell you a story about the gift I gave to my mom. She didn't like it. Turns out when I was a little kid, maybe six years old, uh, there was a neighbor man up the street who had killed a pygmy rattlesnake. And I uh, I was up the street after he had killed it, and he had cut off the head, and uh, I thought, this thing is really cool. And I asked him if I could have the head of the snake, and I said, hey, can I have the rattles too? And he, he cut off the rattles, and uh, he gave them to me, he put them in a little uh, sucrets tin, like a little cough drop tin. And I thought, this is the coolest thing ever and immediately went home to give it to my mom. Well, I got to the house and I was standing on the carport to call my mom to come to the door. And then I handed her the little tin. Well, she opened that up and screamed and threw it up in the air and the head went one way and the rattles went another way and she made me throw it away. <sighs> you know, odds are if I was able to keep them. I probably would still have them to this day. <laughs> oh, well, let's move on. Well, up next, we'll talk about how to carve a shrink pot. This is an interesting project, and we've got a video from Well-Versed Man. That's the name of the channel. And Keith, who runs that channel, takes you through the process of how to make a shrink pot and what exactly is a shrink pot. Turns out what you do is you cut a branch of green wood, right? A tree that has not been down for too long. The, the wood is still green. And you hollow out the insides of it. And then you fit a, a dry wood piece into it, carve a groove into it, and then put the bottom in. And that hardwood, of course, will stay the same size while the green wood shrinks to have a nice tight fit around that bottom piece. And this is a type of carving technology that's been around for centuries. Yeah, it goes way, way back. Now, maybe you've never carved one or seen one, but the video will give you some examples. And a lot of folks do these in tulip tree, maybe birch or beech, maple. Yeah, lots of different woods, but typically, you, you know, you have to have a green wood so it will shrink. And Keith shows you his process using a variety of hand tools, everything from an auger to a sloyd knife and various gouges as he hollows out the insides and then also has a, a pedal powered scroll saw to cut out his bottom piece for it. It's a pretty cool video, so take a look. Well, up next we'll go to Spoonfest 2023. Zed from Zed Outdoors is going to take you through the uh, Spoonfest get-together. Now this is kind of billed as a celebration of the hand-carved wooden spoon. And it's the largest gathering of spoon carvers in the world. Now this gathering is in the UK in a place called Edel. And what you'll see in this video is a, a variety of spoons, of course. You'll also see some shrink pots. Uh, look closely. And you'll just see folks having a good time. Some of them are camping out there at Spoonfest. Uh, some are dancing the polka, playing music. And of course, there's a whole lot of carving going on. Lots of chips everywhere and tools. And there's even somebody who's forging a carving hatchet uh, on the site. So I think you'll enjoy taking a look at Spoonfest 2023. Have you been good this year? Did Santa bring you some new tools or maybe some money to, to buy some new tools? Well, the Bearwood Supply Company has been in business since 1987. The main warehouse is located in Vancouver, British Columbia. That's in Canada. 
And they have uh, quite a variety of things that you might be interested in. I reached out to Stephen, the president of the company. Stephen told me that's exactly it. He wants folks to know about their variety of tools, accessories, all kinds of things related to working with wood and woodcrafts. He said they have everything from, you know, hand tools for carving, power tools, and they also have clock pieces for people, you know, interested in repairing or making a brand new clock. They have parts and accessories, hardware for hanging things on the wall, and even small parts that you would use in making toys. In addition, they have a variety of adhesives, finishes, you name it, sharpening gear, lots and lots of things for you to check out, including dust collection and dust control. So if you're in the market for some tools, supplies, accessories, check out Bearwood Supply Company. They're known for quality and customer service and fair pricing. Well, since we're talking about tools, let's stay on that topic for a second. Brian over at Carving is Fun has a brand new video that came out yesterday talking about carving tools. Now, this is sort of a guide. He's trying to put together some information that will help anyone who's shopping for tools so that they can make an informed decision. In this video, he tells you about tools to avoid, tools that might be for a beginner, up to intermediate type of carver and professional quality tools. And then at the end, he gives you his very own recommendations. So check out Brian's new video, all about tools. Well, over at Stinnett Sticks, Mike Stinnett has a problem. He's got a, a log uh, from Lodgepole Pine and he's trying to carve a Massasauga rattlesnake. That's a variety of pygmy rattlesnake, which we talked about at the very beginning of this video. And he's trying to deal with the issues, as you might expect with pine, there are a lot of knots. And he's had to struggle with the layout of the snake on this walking stick that he's carving. So you'll see him talk about the design and how he had to work around those knots. And then He'll take you through the entire carving process. And of course, as always, you can see his little dog, Pearl. Uh, they take a quick fishing trip to catch some trout and then smoke it. And Pearl loves smoked trout. Now, this video, as with most of Mike's videos, features a lot of great carving skills, burning, wood burning, and painting. It's amazing. He paints each scale individually. And then, of course, he does all of this in a little over 12 minutes for the video. But he does say that the carving from start to finish took about a month. Well, up next, we'll visit Workshop Companion. That's a YouTube channel from Mike Engler. Mike is a very longtime woodworker, an expert master craftsman with a number of books, more than 50 books that he has written. He has a video that talks about how wood works. With that, he talks and gives us information about wood grain and the different varieties of wood grain, flat grain versus quarter grain. He talks about the wood strength, compressive strength, bending strength, and of course, wood hardness too. And he also shares information about what makes wood warp why does that happen to some boards more than others, for example? And he also shares information about the characteristics of dimensional lumber, depending upon how it was cut, whether it was plain sawn versus quarter sawn. So if you work with wood on a regular basis, this may be a very informative video for you. Check it out. Well, Doug Linker just published a brand new video called A Silent Christmas Carving. And as you might expect, there's no talking in this video. Just the satisfying sound of sharp tools slicing through a hunk of cottonwood bark. And Doug is carving a Santa head. Uh, in the background, there's a brick chimney fireplace, and he's got some other features that he carves into this cottonwood bark. And like I said, there's no talking, but you can tell that Doug is really enjoying himself because there's a point where he's working on carving Santa's 
right eye. Uh, and he's humming a little happy tune to himself. Yeah. So you can definitely tell he's really enjoying it. So check out Doug's brand new video. Well, folks, I want to thank everyone for all the support. And if you liked this video and the information that's being provided here, you'll probably like this one too. Just click on it and see. Thanks a lot. See you next week.